All right, so we talked about um, what our responsibilities in growing in holiness. We talked about um, how we're called to be holy, right, ourselves and know our faith. <clears throat> we talked about how we're supposed to bring that holiness into our families and into the workplace. In this little chunk, we want to take the next step and talk about how we're called, those who are Christian through their baptism and, and eventually confirmation, are called uh, to go a little further, right, to, to, uh, to live out what's called the apostolate and to bring that Christian faith into the public square. Um, so those two things, apostolate and the public square. Let's look into those two, okay? Um, so here we go. Um, <clears throat> the task of building up the church is called the apostolate. Um, comes from the word apostle, right? What is an apostle? We learn that an apostle is one who was sent out. Christ chose the 12 apostles, right? And they're to be sent. That's where that word comes from, to sent forth in the world, right? They have a mission and a duty. Um, Christ gave them a task, and their task is to bring Christ's message and to bring the grace of Christ's message to the entire world, right? Um, so then when we get to us, through our baptism, not only are we called to, to live in Christ, right? Um, but we're also called um, to follow that mission that he gave the apostles, and that's called the apostolate. Um, that is a more direct understanding, not only called just to be holy, but we're called, right, to go forth and to bring Christ to the world, um, to be Christ in the world. Right? Every member of the church is called to an apostolate. Um, it's a duty for the lay people uh, in the church. Uh, any work of service or charity can be apostolic, right? With the correct mindset and heart and disposition and understanding, right? Um, we're called to, um, <clears throat> to in some way, um, not just go through the motions, not just be, not just be a good person, right? Um, but Christ is calling us to take that next step, right? Um, and if we're Christian, we're supposed to take that next step. How am I not just not being bad, but how am I doing the mission that Christ calls me to? And that's a very key element that I think a lot of us in high school and college, even at my age, forget. We're just getting swept up in what we're doing. We're saying, I'm not a bad person. Okay, good. But Christ calls you not just to be not a bad person, but he calls you on a mission to be a Christ person, right? And to do his work. Pretty important, right? Okay, so the apostolate. Uh, what is this? Um, different ways we can look at the apostolate. Um, it could be teaching the faith to a younger brother and sister, or maybe teaching a Sunday school class. It could be um, doing homeless ministry, any of those corporal works of mercy. Um, uh, we've got a homeless ministry here at Straight Jesuit, right? Um, this is apostolic work, right? Um, that's what that means, finding something that you're doing in reality, maybe a direct thing, right, that is serving Christ's church, Christ's kingdom on earth, right? Not just, I'm not being bad, right? But what are you doing to serve Christ and his church, right? Moving on, um, living our faith in the midst of the world. We're also called, and the lay people especially, this is where we get the difference between the clergy and the laity, right? Um, that the laity are called, right, um, to go into the public square. What is that? That means we're called to form society and culture and politics. Uh, we look right now at the world and we've got the election process coming on, right? We've got, we've got Bernie, we've got Hillary, we've got Trump, we've got Cruz, um, right? These big names, uh, we've got our culture all around it. It is our responsibility um, to form our culture, right? And we look how screwed up our culture is, right? How many of us are not doing that? We're sitting back in the shadows. We're sort of just not being bad, right? But it is our duty, right, to go into the public, right? Bishops and clergy may address issues, right? Your pastor may be at church and he may be giving a homily about issues of public policy that involve what we're supposed to do. But the laity, we are involved in the actual process, right? We're the ones that elect officials. We're the one that go out and inform our friends about what we should be doing. We're the one going out and, and changing our culture, right? That's a very important thing that we should be aware of, right? The magisterium, the church's teaching, teaches principles, but it is us, the laity, that put those principles into effect in society. And if we have a screwed up society, that may go on the shoulders of our church officials, right? That they may not be teaching us enough, right? But it also goes on our shoulders, your shoulders and mine. What are you doing and what am I doing to inform our friends, our society, our school, right? About how we should act, how we should change our culture, right? That's a very important thing. It is our responsibility to do that. We're all about seeking the common good. In the church's social teaching, it's all about supporting legitimate public authority, um, common good of society, um, and attaining this good by morally acceptable means. What's that? The common good is the sum of the social conditions that allow people, either in groups or individuals, thorough and ready access to their own fulfillment. What does that mean? Um, it means, in short, 
everything we do should be oriented towards, right, um, the good of all of society, um, not just the good of the individual. And here, that's something that we should point out, highlight it. Um, what are we talking about here? American society today, it's all about the good of the individual. Can I write that down somewhere? The good of the individual. Amazingly enough, that's sort of what American, American culture is all about. Um, it's all about you, right? Consumer is all about you, all about you, whatever it's all about you. But originally, um, in, in what society should be about is not the individual, but it should be about the common good and the family. Right? When we highlight the individual so much, what takes place? Selfishness, right? It's all about me and getting mine, right? But if we look at family, right, and common good, then all of a sudden we see the reality what we should be changing our laws and our rules and society should be about the growth of people, right? Forming morally good people. It should be all about sacrificing our individual good sometimes for the good of the other, right? If it's all about the individual, right, think of how that works in a family, right? It, a family falls apart. It doesn't work at all, right? Um, it shouldn't be all about the individual, right? It should be about what's the common good? What's the family all about, right? Um, but we, we're in, in conflict, right, with consumerism, with an immoral world that always wants to say that it's all about just you. Because if it gets you to believe that, uh, well, they can sell more stuff, right? Then all of a sudden, you've got to do whatever you can to get that nice car. You've got to get whatever you can uh, to get that nice iWatch, right? And that nice iPhone and da-da-da-da-da, right? Um, but maybe what's more important than getting that fancy iPhone, right, is getting a nice phone, and then spending that money on something else, right? As a parent, I've started to realize that, right? Um, my phone, I'm holding on to my old iPhone that I got right when I was married. Now that I have three kids, I can call people with it. It's good enough. Now I'm thinking diapers are important, right? Now I'm thinking uh, getting a toy for my son's important. But if I had this mentality still, of it's all about me, right? Eh, the kids, psh, whatever, right? But no, it's all about sacrificing ourselves for others. How does that work in our classes? How does that work in our schools? How does that work in our family? Um, think about that, right? The common good, right? Uh, what it's all about. Moving on. Participation in the common good. Uh, what's this? Common good includes three elements. Respect for and promotion of the rights of the person, period. Now we look at, what are we looking at? The unborn, right? All these types of things. Prosperity or the development of spiritual and temporal goods of society. Prosperity. Common good is recognizing that um, there are some worldly things that we should be able to hopefully support others in getting, and also spiritual goods, right? The peace and security of the group and its members. Here we're talking about the common good. Okay. Promoting the common good is a responsibility of the government and every individual member of society. Does that make sense? Right? Government's responsibility to promote the common good. But what people forget and miss is this. And I think here's where sometimes there's conflict with socialism, communism, right? Or socialism and, and a messed up democracy too. Because in a messed up democracy that's all about the individual, what we see is um, we see a lack of this, right? I don't have to care for society. I'm making my money, right? A good democracy says I take my money from my job, from my work, from my company, and I use that to keep on helping society, right? But without morality, that disappears. It's all about the individual and democracy hurts, right? And that's when you have people that pop up that say, well, what about socialism, communism? But that also takes this out of the equation, right? Um, what's the idea, right? Is that socialism says you can't do it yourself, right? You don't know how to help other people yourself, right? Um, <clears throat> so what we're going to do is we're going to take all your money and the government is going to take care of the common good and everybody else. You're not able to do it, right? Both communism, socialism, and a messed up democracy are missing this piece, that it is up to us to take care of others, right? It is up to us to take care of others. And a lot of people miss that, right? They forget about that, um, which is why Bernie Sanders, I think, is moving through the ranks. People are all over it, right? Uh, because there's so many people that need help. And the people with money are all about themselves, right? A lot of times they're not helping others, right? And so people look to, and Bernie has the message, right, that, well, the government's going to do it. We're going to take those individuals' money, and we're going to help you out, right? But in an ideal society, the individual should be helping the other people that need it, right? And the government comes along to support that, right, rather than enforcing it, right? There's, there's an issue with when it comes to our Christian understanding of the common good. We have a role. Okay, enough of this.
apostolate and our role in the public square.